Okay. These, these are the kind of mornings I like to wake up to. Of course, I woke up at like, like 11, <laughs> 11 p.m. or something like that. So it was pretty late at night when I woke up. But I wish I could live in a world where it was just gray all the time. Or, you know, I didn't have to worry about the idea of, you know, coming outside and the light being so bright that I just want to go back in. I, I would love to live in a world where it was just gray constantly. It's like, like being gray is kind of like my happy place in life. It's kind of like my happy place for, you know, the setting to just be gray. Who the hell is that huge moving truck right near my driveway? That's quite bizarre. Um, no, the world being gray, that's just my happy place. It's what I enjoy. It's like, he, is he just sitting there? I don't want to show you show you guys my driveway, but yeah, the guy is just sitting there. That's pretty bizarre. Um, is he driving away? Hmm. Um, he's still there. Interesting. Like my happy place is is just it being gray outside, and I think, like. My friend Calliope, he has this theory that people who walk more often write more. And um, besides the fact that Maine was just a serene place that was a good environment to write in, I think he has something there. Because I wrote, like, when I lived in Maine, that was the most that I ever wrote uh, in my life consistently. Um, and I was walking every single day while I was there, and it was easy easier for me to do um, because it rained almost every day that we had lived there, and if it wasn't raining, it always looked like it was about to rain. And I loved that about the state. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, and the more that I walked, like, it was easier for me to get the energy out to be able to write. Um, I don't know if there's any specific science behind this, like I'd believe it anyway, but I don't know, I, I don't know if there's a reason, but I've just noticed the general trend that the more that I've walked, uh, and the more consistently I've walked, the more that I've wrote, and uh, maybe it's getting inspiration from taking in the, uh, the sights, you know, from sightseeing nearby or some shit like that, or maybe it's uh, because your body just wants to move on an evolutionary basis, I have no idea. Um, but I get more inspired when I, when I walk and I, I like winter and fall because during winter and fall, um, there's a, there's like a, it's not a hole, but over here there's, is that teeth? No, that's not teeth. Uh, over here there's like a, a little dip in the ground before you start getting off into the trees and stuff. And I think it's kind of cool because there's like a rock here, um, but and I, I like, um, I like, you know, the fall and the winter when everything looks gray around these parts. Um, that guy really is just standing there in the, uh, he really is just standing there in the driveway. Don't know what this giant car is doing there, but I hope they go away soon. I don't know. Um, like it's so much easier to go outside consistently when it's cold for one, just because I, I prefer cold weather. Um, but it's also, uh, because of the fact that, you know, when it's gray, I don't have to deal with the sensory overload of, um, you know, Oh, it's the garbage man. Okay. That's not a moving truck. That's the garbage man. Um, but I, I don't have to deal with the sensory overload of, uh, of having so much sun at once. It just bothers me to have that much sun. Um, that's why I don't like it. Uh, but when it comes to, when it comes to days like this, like it feels nice to wake up. I get this when it comes to sleeping is that I love to sleep all the time. Despite the fact that I have insomnia and issues sleeping, uh, I actually really like sleeping all the time. Um, there's something about it that just intrinsically feels good to me, um, to the point where, to be 
I haven't actually walked back here before. The path is clear, but I've never walked back here before just because I haven't had the motivation to until now. Um, there's something that just intrinsically feels nice about sleeping all the time, right? I did that video sleeping 16 hours a day where, um, you know, I, I used to literally just constantly take my sleeping pills in order to sleep 16 hours a day. Um, and back then it was more of like a depression thing where I was so depressed that I just wanted to feel dead and sleep was the closest thing I could get to death. So it was nice. Um, but now it's more of like a recreational habit. Like sleeping, sleeping isn't so much, you know, the, the pain of existing is this much to bear that I must be asleep all the time. It's more like sleeping is just comfy and waking up is too. Or like waking up from a restful sleep, a nice sleep, just feels good. It just feels good to wake up. Um, and it feels good to sleep all the time because it feels like you have lots of rest and your body is more calm. Uh, this is what I like about it is that you know, I, I talked about, you know, calmness basically being my favorite feeling in the OK Mully Boomer video. And uh, when, I, when I wake up from sleep or in sleeping and am sleeping so often, I feel so much calmer, right? I guess, you know, the issues that I have with being anxious, getting heart palpitations, um, you know, paranoia, uh, or generally being agitated and feeling uneasy end up being, um, you know, uh, potentiated by not getting enough sleep, by sleep problems. And I guess maybe they potentiate one another and just make everything worse in both regards. Um, and so you end up with a situation where if being calm is the ideal, then oversleeping is the ideal as well. And I like it. I like the feeling of sleeping a lot. Um, I just feel generally happier uh, the more sleep that I get. And when I'm sleeping all the time, like even if I'm, you know, sleeping like 17 hours or something like that, I just feel happier when I wake up. Um, and back then, you know, I was abusing the sleep as, as again, a, a way to hide from the depression. Um, but, you know, now as I find myself dealing with depression in more healthy ways or you know, I'm, this is the thing is that like, I talk about how I'm depressed all the time in these videos, but you guys, you really don't know just how bad it was when I made that sleeping 16 hours a day video where, you know, I, I don't have the active drive to end my own life. I may think about it as a thought, but it's not such like an overt pain where, you know, you're freaking out about it or whatever. Like, how I was feeling back then, where it was like a chronic thing. Now, I just feel depressed all the time, and that's just kind of a thing that happens, where it's like what No Thank You said of being sad is not so bad, where it's, it's manageable. You know, it's not the kind of sadness where you just feel like, uh, like you just got hit by a truck or something, and you're just bleeding out in pain. It's the kind of sadness that's just sort of there. You know, it's not it's, it's something you can ignore. That's the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, you look at these videos, you look at, you know, a lot of my interests, a lot of it is just being distracted is that as long as I can put myself in a state of distraction on some level, it's like, there's something there for me. Um, and as long as there's something there for me, I'm dealing with the problem well enough to not have the depression be noticeable, you know? It's in those moments and those moments uh, of clarity in which I'm not, you know, being distracted. There's a toilet over there. Look at that. <laughs> Just a random fucking toilet. It's those moments of clarity where, you know, I'm not being distracted, where, you know, the depression can oftentimes set in. Um, but at the same time, I like doing things like meditating. I think that's another toilet right there. I think it is. And I like having those moments of silence to myself laying in bed and just thinking. And so the depression has evolved in certain forms. You know, like, it's not this overbearing physical sense that I need to hide from. And it's also not something that I'm afraid of thinking about. It's just something that I live with. It's just a part of me. And um, it's difficult. It does hurt. 
but it hurts in a different way. It hurts in a way that feels like, you know, I'm, I'm able to deal with this and I'm able to live with this. Um, and when I think of like why I like sleeping so much, it's because it makes me feel good when I wake up, right? I feel like life is slightly more bearable the more that I sleep. Um, I just have more, I, I have more spunk when it comes to being alive the more sleep I've had. I don't feel energized per se, but that's not the goal. No, I don't like feeling energized. I don't like feeling pumped up. I like feeling just calm. Where calm serenity and feeling a bit depressed is better to me than feeling amped up and high octane um, because there's, there's no beauty in that. There's beauty in calmness. There's beauty in coming out here and observing the gray clouds for what they are, taking in the, you know, 30 degree weather or whatever without any coat on or anything, and just enjoying it for what it is. I like that. Probably due to the fact that I'm so sensitive to sunlight, but also because it's pretty. Um, so emotions are weird. Well, they're, I struggle to define them so often where like most of what I do in these videos is trying to put emotions into words and explain my perspective on things, but they act more as a form of venting for me. You know, they act more as a way of me combing through my own thought processes and trying to figure out how to explain them on the fly than coherently explaining them. Um, where it's almost as if I'm in the process of figuring out what these things are with you. Or, you know, some of them I've thought about a lot, but then other times I'm just here trying to figure out what it is that's going on up there. So I don't really have many other outlets for these kind of things. Like, I have Discord, that's one, but there's something really special about turning it into a video as you're trying to figure out these things, you know? But if I could move back to Maine, I think I'd write a lot more because I, I got a lot written when I was there. And I think it speaks... It speaks to um, just how much I liked living there, uh, where, t like, my two best videos, These Four Walls and uh, Laundromats Are Cool, are just about living in Maine. They're about the exact same time period of me living there, and that's how impactful living there was on me, um, that, you know, two of the most inspired pieces of writing that I've done are about living there. And when I was living there, I wrote so much. Or like, I'd never been in such a, a gray place before where it just rained all the time. It was so pretty. I wish, I wish that could be my life, you know? That's when I feel the happiest. Where people say, oh, what's your happy place? For me, it's sleeping all the time and living in gray places where it's always raining. It's a bit counterintuitive, don't you think? Other people, they say, oh, I like to go to the beach, you know, I gotta, gotta get my Jones going with those bikini ladies and stuff. I'm not about that. I like to just stand on a tree and think every now and again. Just take in the air. Just take in the cold air as it, you know, reaches your veins or something. I think that's how the body works. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed.